Welcome to K1 World Grand Prix 2022 Japan. We're back to the K1 Bantamweight World Championship Tournament at the ADN Arena Osaka. I'm Russell Goodall. And I'm Nicholas Pettis. So this is back to the semi-finals. It's uh, Koji Ikeda uh, versus uh, Issei Ishii. Yep. We saw their fights early on. Uh, and uh, coming out of those uh, first uh, quarterfinals, let's see what happens between Ikeda and Ishii. Yeah, they're both well, fresh, actually, from the first fight. So. I don't think they have any injuries. No, nope. I think it's going to yeah. be a very exciting fight. This was some interesting uh, things happen in the first fights, and here they are. Let's see as uh, that she is taking off his uh, gear. Being, being the taller, yeah. the taller yeah. fighter. <laughs> oh yeah. Standing at no. nine seventy centimeters, <laughs> which in the bantamweight division is considered. Ooh. Wow, aggressive start there. <laughs> He's considered very tall, actually. Mm, for this, for this uh, right yeah. class, definitely. He's a Japanese. Hey. Daddy long legs. She's looking fit, mm. like just like, like ready to go. Of, yeah, super fast and intense. It was a dangerous high kick, actually. It's kind of funny to see because he could have been so tall, right? He's probably always sparring with someone who's shorter than himself. Ah, right. So right. he's got a fairly wide stance, and he kind of makes himself shorter somehow. If I was him, I would be like standing higher up and really taking advantage of the height difference. It's funny how we were talking about he actually reminds me a bit of Sato. Yes. Uh, who's in the uh, arena actually doing the Japanese commentary. Yeah. So uh, earlier one of the fights during this trophy. Oh, nice. There you go. Finally he starts. Ah. So just remembering just some of the other fights we've seen uh, in this tournament and you know other white classes too uh, maybe uh, these guys are fast yeah well, yeah. well bantam weight is uh, you know just human size wise it's they're strong <laughs> and fit yeah Go for it. <laughs> Whoa. He's got the guts. Yeah, he's good. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> One second, okay. Nice. Ooh, what happened there? At the end of round one, he could have just shoot. Oh, okay. awesome. Just pick him up. <laughs> it took him It took him like half a round mm. to kind of suss it up, and then he started letting his hands go, and man, it got real close there right at the end. Mm. Oh, crazy, dude. Yeah, this is shooting this corner. Boom, nice. boom, okay. Yes. Great body shot. Body there. And then he was like four or five centimeters off center with that straight right. And then he would have knocked him out. Right, yeah. That, that's special towards the end of it here, right? Yeah. Second ball! Second ball! The K1. Logo there as we go into uh, round two of this uh, semi-final. 
And don't wait for a match. Okay, they're starting off aggressively. <laughs> After what happened in round one, nice round. Two. Yeah, he's definitely back mm. on points. You know, he's losing points. Mm. So he definitely took the first round. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> he is going for it. Okay, then. And pulling back. Yeah, he's doing the right thing. He's yeah. definitely doing the right thing. <laughs> I'm not sure if, it, if it's actually going to work in his favor or not. Sure. Because Ishii, by, by coming in that aggressive, mm. he's uh, forcing Ishii to fight him back. And he'll be at a better um, distance for punching. Mm. Which is potentially dangerous for Yigida. I think it's a little bit deceptive to see, you know, Ikeda doesn't look like he hits or kicks right. uh, uh, very hard, but um, because he's so tall, mm. there's leverage with it, so ah, it's, right, yeah, right. that was a great yeah. low kick. So he actually, I think he's stronger than he looks. So man, Ishii is fast. And oh, oh, nice. <laughs> His shots well. Oh. Nice. Say Ishii is two rounds ahead of him. Yeah. Yeah. With with Ishii, you know, and you, you see, it seems to be like super confident. Not that Ikeda isn't, but just really coming into the game. have actually not been that damaging. Ah. Now you see it's just in incredible shape. Look at that up there. Yeah. Beautiful. Because you always had him right at the end of round one, you think? Uh, yeah, he got him some good stuff in the end. Mm. But I mean, not enough to pull. Mm. Right. I would say just enough to maybe get it a 10-10 count. Yeah. But I think Ishii is, is, is actually, like I said earlier, the two rounds ahead of him. Mm. It's very exciting. <laughs> Probably maybe because he was like trained a lot in the, the jumps. 
29 or 30-28 for Ishii mm. in my opinion. Actually, the best judgment in this fight would be like a like a 29 and a 28. Mm. 28 to 9. You know what I mean? Two rounds for Ishii. Right, right, right. right. Let's see, Chris Judge. 30, 29. Oh, Ishii! Oh, Ishii? Yeah. That's your star. 30. 30. 29. Oh, Ishii! Yes. Oh, Ishii! 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 Oh, not that he could have had some great uh, kicks and punches if he pushed towards in the end of round three there. So Ishii will be making it to the final. Oh yeah. And he's going to go up there against the winner between Toma Kuroda and Kazuki Mibo. Mm. Mind boggles. We'll see who the winner will be at the end of the night. Oh, he changed his t-shirt. He's got the yellow he thing, yeah. Those, are, those are yellow ribbons on his uh, pants, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Just wanted to make sure of that, yeah. Let's see. We'll see more of uh, you see, Ishii later on in the finals. But who will fight him? We'll find out soon. <laughs> I wonder what kind of t-shirt he has for the final. But we'll, we'll find out and see. Thank you for watching the K1 World Grand Prix 2022 Japan. And this is the K1 Bantamweight World Championship Tournament. Thank you for watching. This is Russell Goodall. And Nicholas Pettis.